Welcome everyone to another Wednesday edition of Squad Ops One Life Events. Tonight we got Operation Trident's tip, and we are going to be on a special map, a Squad Ops map of Yana. Uh, this is going to be U.S. versus Militia. A little quick down rundown of the situation following widespread uprisings out Albania. The Albanian government has requested our assistance. The militia have control of an important military airfield on the coast, and U.S. intervention will be required to wrest control from it of them. An amphibious assault will be the best option, as the region is already heavily fortified due to the bunker policies of the former dictator, dictator Envar Huxa. Times of the evidence. The militia have been rapidly improving on those fortifications. Our mission is to secure the old fortress on Mausuri Island. So the U.S. forces are going to be breaching a beachhead, as we'll see here on the map. They got three beaches that they can actually attack. They got the red beach up on the north, white beach, and then the blue beach. And then you see the mill CP. That's what the U.S.'s objective is for tonight. They need to take that over and then defend it until, uh, until the end of the round. Uh, so for the U.S. tonight, we got Pony in command starting out, and then leading out his SLs is going to be Wolfgang. Then we got the Harv, Oddball, and then Blackbeard. And then over on the militia side, we got Slothboy in command. Leading out his SLs is going to be Phoenix, followed by Iduken, Boogie, and Bacon Batman. That is a lot louder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, let me change some settings here quick as soon as I spawn in. I think that's going to be a little bit better once I bring the audio up in game for you guys. Oh man, it blew my eardrums out. I'm glad you guys didn't hear any of that. But uh, yeah, tonight we're going to be on the special uh, special squad ops mo modded map that uh, our mod dev has been working tirelessly on, updating it as things go on. Uh, this is probably one of my favorites, especially Trident's tip. The uh, U.S. forces, you know, other than the, the usual SLs, FTLs, ARs, and medics, they're going to be getting four lats across the platoon, four engineers, two medium machine guns, and crewmen as needed. Crewmen because they're going to be getting four strikers. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, the strikers are amphibious. So these strikers that they're going to be using will be floating on the water. We will not be driving on land. It will be water. We'll show you, you know, a little bit later. And then uh, FOBs for the U.S., the command gets two support missions, two smoke barrages, and two A-10 strafing gun runs. That's only for the command commander. So if the commander goes down, they lose those. Uh, SLs don't get any support missions. So hopefully the commander stays alive until at least all of those uh, support missions are used. Uh, U.S. is going to be starting at Maine, and then they will be doing the direct assault from Maine using UAVs. So we'll be seeing some UAVs flying overhead. Hopefully I can catch one. And uh, the militia command post there is at Hotel 11-2. And they just have, yeah, well, the map only just says Hotel, Ele Hotel 11. And both teams are going to be able to resupply from vehicles and ammo bags. So over on the militia side, just to fill you in, over across the platoon, they're going to be getting four lats and two engineers. One SBG techie, three logistics trucks. So that means uh, how many? They get what? Uh, four fobs, I believe it is. And one fob is not going to have logistics. But... Oh, no, three fobs, yeah. So three fobs on the beach, and they're going to be getting four heavy machine guns, two zoos, and various defensive structures. And then the CP, which is that uh, one at Hotel 11, they're going to be getting one mortar, various defensive structures, and zoo emplacements that are already in the fortress. Uh, there's no word of helicopters, so we'll be, I guess they're going to be using those zoos against the... Uh, LA or the strikers and an interesting note that they changed about these strikers is that before these strikers were very fast I mean they were they were like flying across the water 
that's not happening anymore. They are extremely slow now. So they're definitely going to have to be smart about their approach and hope that the zoos don't take them out. Uh, they can only, I think, well, no, they can split up their forces so they can attack all three Let's beaches at once. Uh, another range. thing that got added into the it's mod lately, range, if uh, yeah, you think, most, most range. Uh, if you've played on the so hardcore mod and the public servers, they're not going to be, the militia will not be able to put down anti-personnel or anti-tank mines on the beaches. Cool. That's on the beaches. I don't think, I'm pretty sure they can put them elsewhere. So we might be seeing some uh, miscellaneous explosions going off and you're going to be like, what's going on? Well, that is an anti-personnel mine. It affects uh, friendlies and enemies alike. So they're, they're not discriminatory. And there we go. We are live with round one of Operation Trident's tip. And they'll be assaulting this right, northern part of the island the and then pushing area, south. I will call in a UAV and we will see what's up. I think we're gonna we're gonna beat them to it. We're gonna go to the island and uh, see what kind of defenses they got going on right now. Maybe they'll have the northern part of the beach. Oh, they do have part of the northern beach. Oh, they have the, oh they have the entire northern UAV beach covered. Stand by. So hopefully he can see these guys and uh yeah he's got hab out in the open so he'll be able to see that i see something significant and then one in the middle man if he would have went to the south they would have had a bad day we're gonna follow these uh strikers in strikers in the water or do they have to hit the beach and stay on the beach um you don't have to you dismount us. stay on the beach but you have to dismount you guys otherwise uh you know what was the point yeah yeah that's understood so uh i'm gonna keep my Rip. striker in the water after his di it's dismounted so that it can that's cover a very the good idea oh. i think someone has uh yeah. run over an anti-personnel yeah, mine Maybe that's why that team kill had happened. Those of you whose strikers won't have access to a road, I would recommend that after they dismount your troops, um, having them maneuver over to about maybe I-813 to hit the beach from that direction, uh, or assisting Oddball's striker in preventing enemy access to the coast. Because, um, yeah, that is Copy. a very good job, Oddball. I actually had not thought of that while designing this op. That's going to that's gonna be the one thing that's going to be the U.S. saving grace, honestly, balance-wise. Mm. All right. I've spotted some initial fortifications uh, on Red Beach. It looks like they are setting up some sandbags in approximately Hotel 973. I think this fog is, is really going to help them out. They might they might start seeing them here shortly through the fog because the the squad leaders and FTLs do get um binocs. And if you can tell, yes, they are floating. Oh, the water goes really nasty. Got some nasty water in Albania. It is difficult to pick out targets down there. Staging, we should say stage, stage correctly rather than sort of tactical blob. Oh, oh my god, you're going to get helmet on you. Go ahead yeah, and get staged up. Way easier, oh, okay, so. ignore me. Who's Hotel going, who's 1075, going I've got a visual on a second enemy set of fortifications. Hotel 1075, they are shooting at the UAV, so it is possible that they will knock it down here momentarily. Can I get guys quick local comm? Auburn law will turn local up a little bit. I don't know why it's uh, so different. Oh, we don't want a thousand. Yeah. Oddball, enemy fortifications are focused on your area of the beach. It looks like they have few to no fortifications covering the other landing zones. Be advised. Copy. Uh, 
oddball. I'll fight a gun right Never heard of a fishing second. boat hop, huh? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, if we could land some blue fins, yeah. that'd be pretty funny. Okay, are we rocking and or rolling? Uh, I'd say go ahead and start rolling now. Um, let me know when you guys think you're about 60 seconds out from the beach, and I'll hit the, the smoke barrage. Copy. We're Probably drop it mostly on oddball section. I moved it. Barrage will be effective for approximately 60 seconds. I would like to save the second one for dealing with the fog, so. Yeah, oddball. Actually, the enemy is really going to be south of your LZ. South of your LZ. Or <laughs> bad at right. Smoke or Michael, stand by. Copy. Or actually, no, they're even further south of your LZ. Uh, yep, standing by for Blackbeard. There we go. They got to see him by now. Yep, I hear shots going out. Just gonna drop it. Yeah, drop now. All right, it'll take 60 seconds to land, but it should cover you guys hopefully as you're pushing in. Harp, you will have a bunker on that northern area. I don't know if anybody's in it, but copy. I can't get bunker. already know about it. Shots coming in. Looks like Blackbeard is uh, taking some fire. Guys, start covering fire with these. The All right, Oddball, you're likely going to face the most enemy QRF as there are positions uh, south of you at approximately Hotel 1074. Those are to be the only <coughs> positions I can see uh, on this beach area. It's possible that this hops up to the line up here on Ridge, so they could be dug in elsewhere. Not too much fire going out right now, surprisingly enough. Yeah. Oh, that hits one. Looks like the harves right, starting right to now, unload men. Got smoke yeah. coming in a little later than they probably wanted. Asheville running for his life. Ooh, that's not good. Militia might be might be pulling back to the uh ma oh wow oh i think that was d leak uh, 50 just headshot too Covering the beach. Yeah, mortars are on our position. Got mortars Copy coming in. in. Yep, just ship yep. over. Copy. All right, two, are you taking uh, infantry contact? Uh, 
Oddball, are you uh, in contact? Yeah, I'm gonna spawn my guys back in. They died to uh, the flip fake of being in the water. If that's okay with the event. Yeah, south, moving east in the tree. Moving east, thank you. Uh, Wolfgang, could you have your striker go out on the water and help assist uh, Oddball's guys with um, fire support? We're just gonna keep it flipped. It's like they got one enemy forces from that oh, uh, no, no, no. striker. I'm seeing uh, Wolfgang sent his striker out of the water. We'd still be able to provide you with uh, better fire support. Understood. Yeah, uh, Mackenzie, if you uh, go to the squad ops website, and register, and then join us over on the Discord, discord.gg slash squad ops, get into the conversation, check the calendar, make see if you can get into a SOT basic, and then you can sign up for these events anytime you want. Uh, we usually have them on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Two on Saturdays, one on Wednesday at these times. Uh, Saturdays, it's this late night. And then, uh, Wednesdays, or I'm sorry, Saturdays, we have one at late night and one in the afternoon, 2.30 Eastern Standard Time. 2.30 p.m. More mortars coming in. You guys taking much resistance, okay? We are taking mortar fire, but we are making our way up pretty good. That. Making their way Fire downtown. Negative, not at the moment. I just know there's 50 cal to our south. We're trying to edge to our south. Copy, copy. Alright, uh, there's some tell yourself. I actually saw that earlier. If I get a chance on the next pass, I'll drop a uh, castle. Pretty sure Pony's saving that A-10 run for when they find the actual uh, Bob the command posts that they need to attack. Turtle search spraying a little. Everyone else, we're gonna creep up. Position is south of the bunker. Squad four. Yep, I got a visual on smoke out. Stand by, I'm gonna call it an A10 Warthog. South. North. Oddball 50 cal is down. Understood, 50 cal down. Good stuff. Might All be right, getting well, uh. I got the airstrike coming in anyways, Oddball, just to try and. Where is this uh, A-10 strike coming in? All right, we're going to see an A-10 come in. Second one I'll use, take on their mortar. All right, guys, yeah, just make your way up towards that bomb. Uh, man, can the strikers resupply? No. If they uh, run out of ammo, just have them land somewhere A-10 safe. might miss so everybody. Act as normal infantry. Oh! It's one. And there she goes. All right, it seems to be likely that militia forces have consolidated on the point. I am not seeing anything that looks like strong contact uh, in between from? you guys at the point. Direct south. Although it does sound like you're taking some copy. Mortars coming in. They're trying to take these guys down. Copy that, Chief. Yeah, we're being suppressed. This is Thor, get out of there. I'll cover you. Get behind me. Thank you. I'm going behind this tree. Yep, and down goes Soldier Wolfie. Honestly, couldn't tell you guys how it's going down there from the UAV, but you guys seem to be doing a good job, so keep it up. Uh, a from one is ha has light contact. Uh, really haven't seen anything. Understood. So we're sitting at five yeah, kills for the like U.S. Army and seven for the militia. Militia's giving up a uh, good uh, fight right now. We just lost a striker. Uh, I think two's 
striker in the water blew up. Papa, we got guys just southwest of us, about till nine two three. Got you. Understood. And then one striker is out of ammunition, Blackbeard, so it's parked. Oh, okay. Taking I'm, heavy I'm ground fire. I'm gonna deploy my. Uh, I'm gonna move with the infantry uh, to the east of two. I might go down to send the ravine mortar. Tower. Copy that for you. They're mortaring your pike hard. I can move my striker in uh, in the water west uh, down the west coast or east coast, whichever one's gonna help. Ross sitting here with that 240 Bravo, just I'd just waiting to light somebody up. One would probably be the most helpful. Experience to have one over by the coast with two. All right, copy that. Well, your strike can move up now. We've cleared the bunker. Our, our heaviest it's contact that's log. spotting us right now it's is towards southwest wall. on the western yeah. side of the road. Copy two. It sounds like um, you are be on the flank of that contact relatively soon. And, uh, they're in frag range. Oh. Try it. See if I can't spot them, get a grid. I don't have frags, but they're throwing smokes at me. I got frags at. They're smoking from 210. A little bit of a slow push starting out, but I, I figured that's what was going to happen. Um, they're, the militia is actually holding strong. They're not going all the way back to their command post and defending from the fort. So they're, they're actually going to put up a fight instead of doing kind of like that super fob mentality. Which is good. A little bit of action, you know. Causing a distraction, pushing, pulling back. Causing a distraction, pulling back. Kind of whittled down the U.S. forces, kind of what they're doing. Uh, sitting at 11 kills for the U.S. Army and seven for militia, so it's it's bounced back into the U.S. Army's favor. They have an SPD tech call. Like the, he, the strikers trying to do some damage. Oh, maybe the strikers down. I-10-4-7. I-10-4-7, copy. Yep, stand by, I'm gonna confirm as I go over it. Yeah, enemy contacts confirmed right in you. I-10, I or no, I-10-4-4. Yep, yep, four, 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 hey, FPL, uh, I need some ammo. Copy. Guy there, at least. Arv squad. Running into some resistance. They still got a little bit of an open clearing just on the other side of these trees that they're going to have to cross. Might make things a little bit difficult for them. I think the platoon is online now. Uh, we're yep, going to edge your way job. to Hotel 10194. Your striker took a hit. If it wants to pull back and we lead the charge, that's fine. And an uphill right, push. So that uphill right, push is definitely going to give them some uh, issues. Militia's pulling back to that hill right now. That's uh, right about where the uh, fortification is going to be because the right, fortification is right here. And then getting uh, to the fortification the after they pull again, through all of this force, forest, I mean, that's going to be tough with all these bunkers. I mean, there's the bunkers are real close together, that's surrounding the entire uh, fortification. They can hop over these walls, but... That could be a Trigger death trap trying to hop over a wall. I think Militia got the call to basically Alamo. All right, UAV is up, scanning the ground. Okay, their FOB is almost certainly inside that building that uh, is marked on your maps in H-12-2. Got a visual on their mortar now. Hey, Harv, I'm only three Calling strong on infantry over here, so we'll oh. fall in behind you when we get to this point. A-10 strike. 
possibly straight on their mortar. Where is the mortar? Ah, there it is. Yep, he's calling in an A-10 strike on the mortar. Can repeat that? You want the striker to pull back? Yeah, have the striker pull back. We'll use it as mobile cover. We'll move down the beach, flank the building, and try and uh, unfuck the situation on the flank. Okay. All right, most of them no, Karma is not playing tonight. That, uh, Sad face. The top of the hill. Oh, just missed the mortar. But all those sandbags do go down. He gets one and injures another in that attack. The I'll mortar's still up. They could rebuild the mortar if they wanted to. I'll keep an eye on them. Hey, hard. U.S. making a slow push it. north towards this fortification. Uh, pretty much my entire squad is to your east right now. We're still pushing though. We're pushing up pretty hard now. Okay, Pony, we need to make a decision because if we go keep staying uh, east of this road, like we have to go all the way around basically to attack the point. Copy. Um, I'd actually recommend that we do that with a full platoon. I think if we conduct an assault from approximately um, I-114, we will have pretty good success on assessing their defenses currently. If you keep pushing on the west side of the road, though, it'll be pretty bloody. So I'd recommend that three and two, you make your way over east, uh, double back, basically, loop around one and four. I want you to push towards the militia resupply and try and secure that area down there. It looks like most of the militia contacts are hardened up on their fob, um, which, again, is, is in the location marked. Uh, so with a good... I am line, antsy with the anticipation for when they push this fob because be all the militia is on it and all the u.s forces are pushing up now and we're sitting at 13 kills for the u.s army and seven for the militia so this is going to be a firefight everybody to move to the east side of the road and i i i'm predicting that it is going to go off and then we're going to push up and we'll conduct a final assault uh with the secondary i don't know who these two are but i think they're they're going to call in where everyone's getting if they don't get taken out because Pony is asking them to go towards this militia resupply and sweep that first. Make sure there's no outliers. And we got not an NA spy and strike over here. More probably as an observation listening post. Major fortifications. Turn turn around. Swing back over to the other side of the road. You're in very can You can load up in my striker, Blackbeard. Yeah. Striker can funnel you back. But yeah, too, I'd, I'd basically sneak your way over to the east side of the road and avoid those contacts in the house. We're going to try and get you guys in position. Do a nice oh, quick assault. NSA spy. And, uh, and then, uh defend it what's his name? What is it? Remaining militia contacts. Strike. They're pulling back. There's I'd be getting an Alamo. Uh, I believe they have exhausted their supply of ammunition. All right, sorry. I had a striker in my ear for the last five minutes. Um... Where do you want me, Barney? I can move all the way up with this striker. Negative, negative. Pull back north and then go around over the east side of the road. We are moving the whole platoon into the northeast of the island near the militia fob, and then your guys are going to assault with smoke barrage cover and with striker cover from the northeast. Oh, right, I see people up there. Up We're going to mount up. We're going to mount this striker and then redeploy them. Copy that. Sounds good. Yemen 4, keep, keep. You're the vanguard. Keep pushing your way. Uh, stop short of actually in that fob, though. I want to get everyone together for this assault before we do that. Looks like you have a lat firing from a fortified position in H. Striker doing some suppression, uh, the lat, a getting their heads down. This is going to work out perfect. They got two strikers that can get some suppression for the strikers, get the get their heads down, and then just have the troops hop up over the walls and uh, finish the deal. Oh. That goes out, takes one, injures two others. Spacing, battle spacing. Explosives are dangerous. Maybe that was maybe that was an AP mine. 
Uh, anti-personnel. They got some right there, I think. Those are those white dots, the AP mines. I don't know if the anti-personnel mines are going to show up for us, so uh, we might be getting some surprises if people hit those AP mines. I think that was an AP mine trip. Order's coming out. That needs some battle spacing there. You guys need to manage to make your way around and behind that um, militia resupply. They're firing mortars now. The mortars uh, back in play. Probably aiming at the striker. Oh, and they're short. The mortars are very bad. Very bad mortars. Make sure you move now, guys, while the, the mortars are shitty. Once the mortars are good, you're not going to be able to move very easily. Uh, we can use, uh, my, my striker is out of ammo, uh, the one where Wolfgang is, uh, but we can use it as a battering ram if need be, and, you know, pump and dump that shit. Copy, okay. That's why they're not killing all these militia guys. Break, okay. break, break. Is the striker at Indian 973 operational? Out of ammunition, I'm afraid. Is that correct, Harp? It's out of ammunition, but we might be able to use it as, like, a resupply. Oh. Run for your life, Revy! You can make it. Ah, uh, you lucked out. Crossing this street beach is gonna be dangerous. Blackbeard, grab it. We can pick it up. We can grab it. I have the spare crew. Oh, mortars are real bad. Don't worry, we're gonna. Don't worry, we're gonna grab. We'll grab both of them and then we can rally up once we're we're safe. Cool. Man, be advised, we got very little cover from militia main to the bunkers. Yes, there's a forest. Look, look at militia main. Look beyond it. There's a forest. I-11. Oh, boy. Is that striker just fucking sit there and do nothing? Jesus Christ. Someone tell it to use its smoke or stuff. It's got all that, all that fucking smoke on well, board from the main gun. they used all of the striker's ammo. I don't think any of the strikers have ammo anymore. And they also get four lats on militia right. side. Well, and lats are buffed in the mod. So they'll definitely take out a striker. Yeah. Or at least damage it enough that they gotta pull back and they're not gonna use it anymore. Pretty easily ferry people. Um, let's go ahead and get two. Get ready and mount up in four striker. And then uh, this is just the one life event. There are no respawning. Uh, no picking everybody up. Keep that striker going until you get to I eleven six one. Okay. Behind us. Sounds good to me. Okay, send Alpha Guido and there's a latch shot on the striker. Sitting at 14 kills for the army and 11 for militia. Copy that. Oh boy, he's not going there. And it sounds like no one is listening to. I'm not going to lose another like two to that pointless cross. At the moment, my skin's full effective, and I know yeah. The ground is out. I'm, I'm okay. trying to. Yeah, trust me though. They're gonna, they're gonna fuck this up. Um, All right, hold on. I'm we got a salt. Don't get shot. To coming out here, someone, trying to get some information. Fucking strikers to go back and pick up two. This should not be a difficult order to follow. Just get one guy, have him go to the back, pick up two, and bring him on over. Stand by. I'll, I'll get my guys to do it. Militia were on the outside, and then they just alamoed now. Uh, probably couldn't get that good of a shot once they're inside that fob location up there on the hill. But beforehand, I mean, you, know, you just saw a striker just got hit from inside the fob position. So I think they'll, I think they'll be all right. All right, two, get your guys ready. We're going to mount them up and push them on over. Ooh, how close is Assault planning on getting... Stand by. Okay, right, so here's the situation. We've picked up two, they're coming back. We've got one striker which actually has some ammo. Uh, I'm gonna keep Bartok with him because he's got smoke rounds on the Gustav, which means we can start smoking some shit up and maybe maybe help and keep rearming those rockets. 
The rest of my team can mount up in a uh, striker and just unrush the show, as uh, Public Enemy once said. Copy. I'm not very confident in the bum rush option. You guys should have ample time to sprint distance with the smoke cover. Oh, um, is this but, assault yeah, with a lat? Ammo, yep. Assault with a lat mode. kit. He's going to take another right. shot at one of these strikers. Right, I'll run left alpha now. Give me the... yep. uh, this is definitely going to be harder for the U.S. than the you imagine. Online. I am still tracking pretty heavy militia movement around that main bunker. Uh, the other bunks to worry about doing assault will be the bunkers H1129 and H1126, both of which are occupied by enemy forces. Uh, I guess he's just going right, to second, so jet, guys, second guess that decision. Around uh, you should have cover just from the slope, or at least concealment just from the slope. You don't let me know. Oh, another shot out from the lat. If you don't uh, up in the bunker. This time it was an assault. Right, okay. Oh, just that they had any mortars left. Jesus, right, they take the entire down. team out. What is going on? Tony has got to be just I, I can I I can sense the uh sense the struggle in his voice. I should be able to charge right in there. I'll let you know when it's flashing. Hell, Assault could probably just take them all out right now. Just get online and just fire a burst. Once the smoke starts, it'll take 30 seconds to build the max, and then it will take another 30 seconds before it uh, loses part of its effectiveness, and then another 30 before it loses all effectiveness. So you guys should have plenty of time. Is that smoke inbound? Smoke's bound. I'll let you know. I'll let you know when to go. Copy. But get everyone ready. Never mind, I can't Smoke do it. sounds like they're going out. Like assault's gonna try to sneak in a hit. Or hurry up before he loses the opportunity. Blackbeard, we're following up the strikers, right? My squad's following up yeah, the strikers. You, yeah, follow on the right side. Hull will go on the left, and we'll come in behind them. If the strikers had ammunition, then yes. They the could definitely get some fire oh superiority, God. but they have no ammo left at this we'll point in time. Uh, I don't know if they're out of mortars or not. Yeah, we're not mounting up in the strikers, though. There's a hit. All right, stand by, stand by. Those are rain. I'll let you know when it starts for real, and then you guys are going to want to go, go, go. So get... And right, they go, think go, go, that go, it's go. coming it's from, uh, bunker. Start your movement. Start your movement. Oof. It's going to rapidly fill over the course of about 30 seconds. You guys are going to go now. Vision will be obscured for about 60 seconds total. You have that time. Oh, they do up. still have ammo. So they're gonna waste it on this. They're completely obscured. Now's the time to make it happen. Salt goes down. They still got two over there. It's uh Fluff McGruff or no, just bag of Big Dean and Barago. Alright, you guys oh, have about Lima. Seconds, so Lima bean. Someone sees him. Here's the main push. Oh, Gustav, smoke goes out from Bartok. Yeah, multiple enemies on H1128 in that area. They're focused on the northeast currently. Ooh, this is going to be tough. A lot of smoke. They're, they're all Hive's going to be the first one over the wall, I think. Copy that. Keep it up, guys. You should be able to make yourself there. Uh, most of the enemy troops are focused on those strikers. You got enemies in the bunker in H1129. On the other side of the low wall from your guys on there. If you spread south, you should be able to make a cleaner entrance down there. 
got yeah, I'm top of enemies on the back side of their man post, but that looks like it's about it. Gr grenade in bunker, grenade in okay. bunker. Top of the bunker. Alright, oh, say again, Barney. There's a lot of nades going off here. Copy that, Blackbeard. Yeah, on the south, yeah, more yeah, south, uh, you guys X-Ryan just holding right safe, uh, waiting for someone to pop their head out. Post, Check this bunker. You got command one, running, one, crawling one, towards Lex Ryan. Sloth boy, he's a uh, militia command. This is a bunker. Oh shit, yo, yo, that's oh. south, south, south. 105, 105. I got a bandage. Oh shit. Oop. Down goes militia command. Most of your enemies have hardened up in the, the main bunker. You should be able to hop those walls. Copy that. Oh, the Crunkin goes down. Blackbeard gets hit. Lex Ryan doing some damage. Understood. Got three inside of here. Got Dash B, Bacon Batman, and Guardian. Twelve to six. There might be one militia holdout hiding in that bunker. Aside from that, though. Um, there's only like two guys outside the main bunker, and they're both like right on it by the sandbags on the south side. Right, 24 to 20. I'm a beaten Big Rago still holding strong out there, causing some hate and discontent for a back flank. We got U.S. inside the compound. Yeah. Sitting at 24 for the U.S. Army kills and 22 for the militia. How's it looking down there, Harv? It's not looking good from up here. Not good at all. Have the strikers bum rush the main gate if you have comms on any of them and just fucking drop on the walls or something. You still got militia troops in a lot of those bunkers. They've, they're now exiting their main bunker again. They've, they've decided that there's uh, no one left. Well, much to their detriment, it looks like they got a guy in on the north who's gonna be able to kill you. Never mind, it's dumb. Look the wrong way, he's down. Yeah, that was liberal. <laughs> oh, poor liberal. Yeah, there's two militia yep. guys right there. Poor liberal. Love that man. If you can get to the strikers, you have a clean line into the actual bunker itself. Because the militia over there are too scared of the strikers. They're withdrawn. Yeah, stand by. We're, we're trying to clear out these uh, exterior bunkers. In this building? Understood. Yeah, a lot of those exterior bunkers are becoming a real pain. There's a lot of militia guys. Legion of Terra the... almost got taken out. Our talk made it inside one of the bunkers. Looking about even 24 kills for the U.S. Army and 25 for the militia. Everyone's holed up in their bunkers right now. Hopefully they don't fire on Bartok thinking that he's an enemy. Oh, someone's made it the walls. Good on them. Yeah, most of us have made it over the wall. Um, we're working on clearing out this big bunker right now. Yep, copy. Yeah, I can see we got a guy on the wall of the big bunker now. Um, he just entered on the Oh, side. fast peek. Uh, didn't catch him. Yeah, Bartok's dead. All right, bring us around. We see if we can get hey, a guy who's peeking on that bunker. He's hiding again. Where? He was peeking the bunker. He was peeking that same Start bunker. Front. Just trying to get him to run out of the ammo. All right, I'm, I'm going to push it. I'm going to push Am I allowed to leave over the got wall a, right here? Got a grenade. Got a thin wall. You throw it in there. Yeah, I got a single little peek in there. I'll peek at the other side. I try and rally the Stryker crews as a force to clear out the main bunker. This is a small bunker. Exactly. Tearing you guys apart. Shadow's down. He's in a tear. Oh, tra down. Probably trades with him. Sorry, Mr. Mojo, you're the last man with command comms on the ground. Infantry are left. 
I would not advise clearing that bunker. I would advise getting a striker your position, mounting up, pushing both yeah, strikers over strike. to the main militia bunker, on, come on. and then dismounting your guys and entering the bunker. Uh, it is unlikely that you will win, but that is your current best option. These small bunker clearouts are not going well. Uh, so where where is this last bunker again? The last bunker, H1128, is the main militia bunker. Seven left Parker for the U.S. forces. On your map. Going against, looks like, uh, one, bunker, two, going to three, to to four, five, cruise. six, seven. Uh, that is the bunker. Seven on seven. All right. I like those odds. Except for Lima Beans and <laughs> Big Rago are still <laughs> outside. But yeah, get them over there. Probably got good eyes on what's going on. Probably going to take some pot shots um, as they try to go through or get yeah, to these strikers. Just, uh, go on in. Have a good time. It's the other bunker. Not the one that you just currently in. Just drive on over, get out of the striker, and then attack. So we can put an end to this uh, this battle one way or the other. If the other strikers were calcitrant, uh, tell them it's a direct order. At one nine, or zero nine four from us. Oh, There's one no, uh, Terrapin is, is down. Northeast side of this he's getting your striker. And then we're uh, going to, uh, just disconnected. Oh, fuck it, just drive. Do it quick. Sam drive. You are not going to have much time. Do not come on. Just get back over there. Smoke. Yeah. From, uh, I'm going to figure out what you're doing. North no, point. Uh, I don't know what the fuck they're yep. doing. Just take uh, it to the north side. No, this drive. is not Scorpo. This west is side, Yana, one of the squad yeah, ops maps designed by our own mod dev team. That is the east side of the main bunker. You are all going to die. Keep, Have keep the striker proceed to the west side of the main I bunker and on. dismount people there. Yeah. Yep. All right, we're dismounting at the west, no, west no. side of this bunker, and we're going to clear it. Contact front. Contact Got front, front, front left. Front left. Front left. All right, keep everyone. Keep going. There's a right there. guy there. I know. Right, oh, there yep, you go. Right. You got him. You got him. Keep going, striker. Keep, keep going. Board, keep board, going. Oh. Strike. Motherfucker. It's a kill. Keep it going to the west side. Dismount the guys. You'll be fine. Dismount now. We gotta clear out this bunker here. Bring the bunker Ooh, we got guys behind us. Contact front. One back bunker. Bunker front. Bunker front. Bunker front. Contacts Alpha everywhere. Front. Yes, I can. Right, Pony's on the other island. Outside of the bunkers. <laughs> I just saw him shooting. Pony's in that island up there in Charlie. Now. Charlie 8. Are they, up? Are they all dead? Any of you guys alive? Copy. Ah, no good Good, good. Is it just you, Anders? Is that, is that... Anders is dead. But it's down to Razor and Alpha Guido. I can't see over the fucking smoke. Grab us around again. I think we have to smoke this. Left stand back left. We still got ammo. Let's see if we can catch one or two of these out in the open real quick. One on the right side. He tried peeking me. Did not go. I uh, could not kill him though. One or two. Hey, drive, drive right. There's one behind this fucking truck off to our right side. Let's see if we can get him quick. Keep going, keep going, keep going. He might have ran back into the bunker. I don't know where he's going to go around the side again. Yeah, he went back inside the main bunker. He's shooting us in our ass right now. All right, we're going to go around the other side, and we're going to try to dismount there. God damn it. Of course, like, all the remaining bunkers still have guys in them. All right, we're going to pull right here. Engine off. All right, I'm going to go in the door directly in front of us. You're going to go to the one to the left. Go now. Go on, mate. Go on, mate. On these sandbags. Cop. Copy. Down to Razor. Oh, no. I think Razor's stuck. Maybe. Time to go. Yep. Here we go, boys. Yep. That didn't happen. So that is GG for round one of Operation Trident's tip. What a show. Hi, everyone. Everybody here? Sick. Uh, welcome to Operation Trident Tip. Trident Tip. Sorry. Uh, we are here because the Albanian government has requested U.S. forces because they cannot handle their uprisings that are currently going on. Uh, there's one guy running in the back. Let's all Barrington. turn around, look at him, and laugh. Is he coming? <laughs> har, har. Is he coming up? Uh, is he here? Is he here? He's here. Yeah, he's here. All right. Um, but like I.
I said, uh, the Albanian government has not been able to hold these uprisings or suppress them. So they have called us in for an amphibious landing on the island of Trident. Uh, we are here to engage and destroy the uprisings. The militia have various defenses along the beach. This is going to be an amphibious landing. Uh, we will be taking out four strikers. Each squad will get a striker. Uh, again, multiple fortifications. The goal and the objective of this operation is to take the militia CP uh, at Hotel 11. That whole grid square, or it's most likely it's going to be in that uh, compound that we were in. Uh, the three main defensive structures are on the MGs that are popping up right now, and the FOB, and then the one to the north. Same ones that we were at last time, obviously. Uh, and yeah, so they'll have the defensive. I'll be here on the island overviewing and giving uh, your squad leaders direction and command. Uh, and UAVs calling in support for you guys and all that good stuff. Uh, the plan is going to be that the three squads, Boogie, uh, Bacon, and Phoenix, will move in from the south following these arrows, not directly, but just in general, uh, landing on Beach Blue uh, from the south and pushing in onto the CP. Once they have landed, they will notify a Deacon squad who is going to the north and follow those uh, arrows. Lifetime slot. Uh, follow those arrows to the north. He'll land at Beach Red. What Adukin is waiting for is confirmation that the enemy in the north on the Lodgy truck has started to move south. It's gonna be 740. To, uh, are moving to the south to uh, reinforce the CP uh, for the three squads that are attacking uh, head on. Uh, other than that, he'll be moving on from there, heading to the east, and then pushing onto the CP from the east uh, of the beachhead. Are there any questions about this plan or why we are here in this country? We're going live in two seconds. We should be live. Yeah, we should be live. So they're going to push off. There we are, live. Admin calls it out. Calling in UAV time now for Southern uh, Route. I still think this is like the coolest thing having these strikers as amphibious vehicles. Yeah, it's just, it's just awesome. They should. OWI should definitely have this in the game. Too many times you drive a vehicle into a river and it just blows up. We do have amphibious vehicles in real life. They should make, they should put this in squad. Mysterious uh, attachments in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, the random things sticking out. Eyes on G ten three six. We have a uh, a mounted MMG. Yeah, Bartok's gonna snipe a vehicle somewhere. He, uh, you never know if he's got it. I guarantee he's going to have the lat kit, but I wouldn't be surprised if he hits someone right now. So if you get a miscellaneous shot while everyone's out in the middle of the ocean from a lat and it hits, disables or destroys the vehicle, 
you know who it came from. You don't even need to call it out. So you, you see that striker all the way up on the north. They're going to hold and wait until this southern push begins, and then they're going to come in down from the south. And it looks like there is a lot of HMGs on that north side, but I'm not seeing any people. That might be because we're not in the close enough proximity to pick up the, uh, the enemy forces. Yes, this is an island that they're going to be assaulting. From one island to another island. Island hopping campaign. Setting up more sandbags. I think the main defense is in the north. That would be a good thing. I'm glad they slowed these down too, because they used to fly across this river or across this water. But I think they need to up it probably like 20%. It does kind of make them like ducks in water. I mean, if you got a lot of HMGs or, you know, at more SBGs, lats, you could definitely do some damage. Got a shot from the SBG already. Gonna push online. Smart move. Oh, looks like the SBG got one hit. Or a hard talk. I think main of the militia is to the south right now on this uh, blue beach. It does have the high hill. It is closer to the main objective than hitting the red beach up on the north. And going the white beach, you you know you're gonna split the enemy, but that means you're gonna have the enemy on both sides of you. But the smart call is always to hit either the red or the blue. SBG pulling off after it takes some rounds. A10 gun run coming in. Oh, it looks like he gets three with that. Wow, I've never seen an A-10 get taken out before. That is strange. Command Got the UAV the flying overhead. Roger, your copy. Get it on the beach, boys. They weren't Navy SEALs back in uh, Okinawa days. They were just uh, ODT. Just a little history lesson for you. Other last shot goes out. SPG is down. Now all they got to worry about is lats. Looks like the militia are falling back. Uh, squad three is holding firm because they've only called out three uh, strikers. So they know there's still one left. Mortar's coming in on the beach landing. Pony kicking it off quick. Oh, mortars. Getting close. We're getting, we're getting AR suppressing us from the direct east. Oh, sorry, correct. Correction. Hadouken, start moving in. Stay firm, come out. Where is it? Oh, mortars doing some damage. Oh. AP mine goes off. Gets two. Remember, forgot to mention that for round two, there are anti-personnel mines in the mod now. In the uh, squad ops right uh, main server on the uh, server browser and inside the game uh, for these uh, One Life events. So they are definitely going to have to move so and hope that they do not hit an AP mine because it is going to take out more than one person. Salt pushing up hard. He's gonna see one. He's gonna see duct tape. 
another 810 run coming in trying to take out the mortars i don't know if they got the mortars or not mortars are still up he missed unless that was the 810 bug and it just fired all it uh he called it incorrectly and it just fired in the wrong position looks like that northern striker is going to start pushing in on the north coming close to that other squad that is now pushing on this one it is straight up contact from the beginning bacon disconnects down goes one sl i don't think he died i think he just disconnected from the game Lima, he's got a guy just waiting for him to jump over that wall Two goes down. Now the main push from the south. Got Jay Remick sitting out on the outskirts, waiting to see if anyone's pushing all the way around. Minor death post up, gets one. Squad three, they've pushed, they're push, pulling back. That striker in the north is going to be able to push in real nicely. No problems. Hopefully they can get down here in time to reinforce everyone who's pushed into this compound. Got a sweeping Frank coming, flank coming from a rather Scottish chap in Remick. And uh, who else? K J K R. They might be catching like two or three, maybe catching Dash B. Let's see how many they can catch. Catch one. Smoke mortars. Pushing on from the south. A little late to be covering them. Got people going down. Striker sees them. Sinful. I don't. Oh, ran him over. Doesn't kill him. Striker gets another one. Pretty sure this is J. Yep, Ramek. Ramek and JKR escaped the striker. Let's peek over the wall. Yeah. Still yeah. got guys in the back. Can't confirm. Can you see them? Oh. Pull down yeah. Really they may they may have heard heard him. Nope. Don't see him from behind. He gets two more. And then he get J Remick finally gets sawn Whoa. by a duplex. Takes out pockets and fulcrum. Still got JKR in the back. Got it. What do you guys need Call it up. We're sitting at 18 kills for the army and 16 for the militia. Still even. Yeah. Just keep peeking over the wall. The striker in the north has let off its infantry and it's going to push down by itself. Just the driver and the gunner. Only got one, two, three, four inside of the compound. You're going to need more than that. Mortars going out. Ooh, JKR finally gets taken down. Still got Blackbeard out here. Blackbeard always, always waiting. What's our strength? All right, strength currently is fucking. We have five on 
Always waiting, always listening. Only have four Again, inside the, four inside the compound, three pushing up, taking some bodies. At 13 militia, yeah, no, 12 militia hey, I have inside of the compound, 13 counting Blackbeard, uh, and right ooh, no. only damage is one. Still got an infantry sky pushing for the north. I think all of militia is focusing on the south. That U.S. squad from the north pushing up strong. I think that is... That is Iduken's squad pushing in from the north. Full screen shake. I love that they put that kind of stuff into this game. Even for the, even for the camera. Just throws you more immersion. And I don't know how they are going to see anything with all of this smoke. It is definitely going to be close quarters combat. They are hold up hard inside these bunkers. Here comes the northern push from my Duke and squad. All out. One, 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 three. Hey, simple, this simple, is how simple, I thought round one simple, was gonna go. This is this is good. Sinful. Getting some revive. Getting some heals after Harv takes hey, some shots at him. And a grenade out. That might be it. Oh, Duplex takes his own. Thought that was sinful. Anyone have bandages? I'm out of bandages. Someone bandage me. Bandages. Duplex, me, Duplex taking some damage from that grenade. Harv doesn't take any. Still got command up. Pony with Liberal. Chameleon Mojo. Got killer man time taking people as they try to jump over this wall. He's in this bunker. We are airborne. He goes down. Your nightmare. Dude, what's up? Get me against the bunker wall. And in the main bunker as well. Flicker, this is yeah, command. Command. Oh, yeah, Roger, command. Looks like SL went down. I did not know that. Uh, we're squad. I think we're. I have reload. So we got four, two left in that bunker. We got. It looks like two inside the main bunker. I think it's down to this, these two. Three left inside of this bunker. And I don't see Blackbeard. Yep, squad, uh, squad two is going to go for that main central. Command goes down. They are inside the bunker. Destroy Liberal the goes down. Oh, you're good to go. We need the, we need the striker suppression. It's like it's left to the Harv and Mojo. Roger that. Everyone, oh, uh, radio that to them. C4, C4 drop. C4 down. C4 down. Get clear over the wall. Back over the wall. And Chameleon. He's up too. Get a little bit of wall hacks going on. See if people breach these doors. Probably sit. Yeah, we'll sit right here. Let's see what this C4 does. All right. Yep. We have C4 on the radio building. We're, we're, we're up. Okay. We're breaching. Them. Doesn't get anybody. They're breaching. Roger. Good All right, let's go, 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 go. Like this first one. Get frags in. Get frags in. Try to get as much as possible. Harv going hard, gets taken down. Mojo's still up. Eyes on 
And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is GG for round two of Operations Trident Tip. Wow. I don't know about you guys, but that round was awesome. That was awesome. That was tense. I like that. That was good. Oh, wow. Quick and dirty. I like it.